Sagittarius, welcome to my channel Cancer Moon Oracles. My name is Rosa and I am coming in with your weekly love reading where in this video we're going to take a look at your person's current feelings towards you. This is a general love reading and if it resonates with you right now feel free to support the channel. This reading can be good for Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising Sagittarian placements and to the cross watchers checking in on a Sagittarian Please take the messages as they best resonate for you. In fact, Sagittarius and Crosswatcher, you may reverse the roles in today's video. All right, Sagittarius, let's dive on in. We're going to take a look at your person's current feelings towards you. So Spirit Angels and Guides, please show us the current feelings of the person that Sagittarius is connecting to and dealing with in love. How do they currently feel towards Sagittarius? How does this person currently feel towards Sagittarius. Okay, Two of Swords is here. How, how does this person currently feel towards Sagittarius? Oh, the Tower. I'm just going to straighten that camera up. <clears throat> Two of Swords, the Tower. How does this person currently feel towards Sagittarius? The Ten of Swords. The Sun card. Spirit Angels and Guides, how does this person currently feel towards Sagittarius? The Page of Cups. The Hermit card. All right. And the Fool at the bottom of the deck with the Everything is Fine. So in this particular deck, Sagittarius, there are two Ten of Swords cards and it's come out twice in the reading. <clears throat> so, all right, give me a moment. I definitely feel that the fact that there's two Ten of Swords and the Tower, it shows me that you and this person have maybe recently gone through a, a separation uh, maybe you and this person had a horrible breakup especially with the tower here <clears throat> mm. a horrible breakup I want to say a horrible breakup because the tower card is here it could have been very explosive like the way you and this person ended things like it ended on bad terms you know it didn't end well mm. and with the five of cups here i am seeing that this person is feeling bad or is feeling guilty with the way things ended between the both of you. I am seeing that this person is focusing on the past with sadness. They're focusing on this situation um, and they're feeling bad because if they could take it all back, they would it, yeah if they could take it all back they would they feel bad because they can't go back and obviously change the circumstances mm. So I am seeing this person feeling rather sad, remorseful, guilty over the way you guys ended things. Mm. There's definitely a sadness there.
the hermit card is here so i do feel that this person is feeling very reflective at this time and I also feel that they're doing a little bit of soul searching. I would even say Sagittarius that this person is feeling lost and lonely without you. It's almost like with these two cards, it's almost like they keep checking their emails or their phone um, or I don't know they keep checking a part of the house uh, for you because I do see with the page of cups this person sort of daydreaming and fantasizing about you there's like a missing energy here they're missing you and they're feeling rather nostalgic at this time. Mm. <clears throat> I do see this person with the Hermit card uh, analysing how the situation, like how things ended between the both of you. I just see them... Uh, playing it out in their mind um, and it's almost like how they could have done things differently it's almost like they're having this conversation with themselves thinking you know I could have I could have handled this differently Because I am seeing here like it was like a messy breakup. It was a messy breakup. It was a horrible breakup. That's what I'm picking up. This person feels blocked by you. Okay, so maybe, yeah, blocked by you. Um, I am going to clarify some cards. So I'm not sure if, if maybe they have tried to contact you here. Even with the Page of Cups, maybe this person has tried to extend an apology out to you. and Maybe that's why they're constantly checking their emails or their text messages to see if they're going to get a response from you. Um... But with the Two of Swords, they are feeling currently blocked by you. Mm. I feel like this Sun card is this person is trying to look for the light at the end of the tunnel. Because it almost feels like they're going through a dark time. Uh, emotionally, psychologically, uh, spiritually. Maybe the, the breakup or the ending was very unexpected for this person. Maybe they didn't expect the relationship to fall apart. And I feel like maybe that's what they're scrutinizing over here with the Hermit card. They're like, how could I have showed up differently to, to avoid this breakup? This person actually feels like you don't care about them. They feel like the breakup or the separation isn't bothering you as, as much as it's bothering them or as much as it's affecting them. Like this person is showing me that it's really crippling them. 
if that makes sense. Uh, whereas they are viewing you as someone who is kind of like moving on and it like like you don't have a care in the world. But that could be because with the full, if, if you called it over with the full, uh, it would be a lot more easier for you to move on. I feel like this person is really struggling because if you called the shots here, um, they're having a hard time accepting that. Okay. Um, this person is also hoping that your actions to separate or end the relationship was an impulsive one is what I'm getting and that they're they're hoping that you will just like automatically walk back into their life yeah I'd, so obviously that's not going to resonate for everybody but that's what I am getting there Okay, what do I want to clarify? You know what? Let me just clarify the Ten of Swords and the Fool. Tell me more about the Ten of Swords and the Fool. Tell me more about the Ten of Swords and the Fool. Tell me more about the Ten of Swords and the Fool. <coughs> Excuse me. The King of Cups. Yeah. Water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You may also be dealing with an Aries. This person is wounded. This person is rocked emotionally or is affected emotionally by the breakup. Um, but they are perceiving you or viewing you as someone who is emotionally okay you know the king of cups is someone who isn't controlled by their emotions um i would say that this person has a lot of love for you still or cares very deeply for you here but they feel like you don't care about them and how is it so easy for you to just you know walk away from them mm. they're hoping that the the love between you or the emotional connection between you is strong enough that you will walk back into their life or that you realize that you still love them or something like that right i am going to look at this tower card though why is the tower card here why is the tower card here spirit Tell me more about the tower card. The strength card. Could be connecting to a Leo. We've got Scorpio energy here. Also Virgo and Leo. Yeah, big Leo energy. Mm. Yeah, this person can cannot believe that you are... so strong right now that's how they're viewing you they're viewing you as someone who is so strong because the tower it's a crumbling of a relationship so but yet through the breakup you seem to be showing great strength and great resilience i feel like it's your strength your courage or your bravery has taken this person aback mm. 
Why is the hermit card here? The devil. Okay, Capricorn energy, Virgo energy. Yeah, I, I did say that. I feel like this person is sort of scrutinizing their behavior at the time of maybe the breakup or or their behavior as to what led to the breakup. They can see here with the devil the their own red flags. Um, definitely the separation or uh, the breakup, okay, has been good for them because we can only sometimes see our own faults or our own red flags when there is space and distance between two people that really care about each other okay or sometimes when we lose someone that we really love not always though not always the only reason why i'm saying that is because the hermit card is a major arcana card and it's making me feel like at the moment we are currently in a Mercury retrograde shadow period. And I do feel that it's actually hitting this person hard, right? It's actually making this person dig deep within themselves because it's making me feel like this person is really serious about making some major changes to or making some major adjustments to their own toxic ways they know what they are with the devil they know what holds them back they know what sabotages them it could be uh, with the devil it could be addictions like sex addiction or drug addiction or alcohol addiction i'm just throwing like lots of different scenarios out there it, it could just be i don't know it could, that can even be like narcissistic tendencies it could be a multitude of things right um but the hermit card this person is scrutinizing their attitude their behavior because i really genuinely feel they want to make some genuine changes. Yeah. They're in deep thought. They're in huge amounts of pain right now. And I would even say, uh, Sagittarius, that with the energies that are going on here in this person's reading, it kind of does make me feel like they're going through a bit of a dark night of the soul. They're going through a very heavy, dark time. And I often say with the Five of Cups, this can be my like grief, my grief and loss card. And I, I do feel that this person is going through the, the grieving stage. And with the two Ten of Swords here, I do feel that this person is really struggling to accept that the relationship is over. Okay, they are struggling to accept it. And that's why I feel like the Hermit card is here because they're looking within. Okay, they're looking within. They're getting that mirror and they're looking within. And I mean, look, the devil is clarifying the hermit card. These are two major arcana cards. It's hitting, it's hitting this person hard. Um, the devil also shows me, uh, Sagittarius, that this person is heavily obsessed with thoughts of you um, like the breakup and you your essence consumes this person mm. it's kind of like this person wakes up and and lives and breathes you every day like there's definitely 
an unhealthy attachment that this person is still having to you um, and they're having a very difficult time here of, of really letting go. With the Page of Cups and the Sun card, these two cards are telling me that this person is almost like entertaining this fantasy or this idea that you're just going to walk back into their life and everything's going to be okay. It's, it's not realistic, right? It's not realistic, but it's almost like a saving grace for this person right now. It's probably the thought that is maybe getting them through this situation. <coughs> Excuse me. Because I often see the Page of Cups as, you know, it's the daydreamer. It's, <laughs> there's something very unrealistic about this daydream or this fantasy that this person has right now when it comes to you and your relationship or your connection or your situation. It's almost like they're looking at it and they're, because the sun card, it's, it's, it's happiness, it's joy, it's positivity, it's light at the end of the tunnel. They're almost like, entertaining this idea that you're just going to walk back into their life and everything is going to be sunshine and roses or sunshine and sunflowers as this card depicts <laughs> you know um do i want to clarify any of these other cards probably not let's go over to your feelings let's ha let's have a quick look at your feelings I'm going to put all these cards back in the deck and give them a quick shuffle. And if you find Sagittarius that any part of the reading uh, resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up. It would greatly support the channel. And it also helps to get the algorithm out there to other Sagittarians that uh, may need to hear this message also. Okay, so a few more shuffles, Sagittarius. So Spirit Angels and Guides, how does Sagittarius currently feel towards this person? How is Sagittarius currently feeling towards this person? We'll just have a quick look at your feelings. Tell us more. Okay, Four of Cups. Four of Cups. Spirit Angels and Guides, the Emperor. Okay, you, you're definitely taking charge here with the Emperor. You, you definitely have the authority or the upper hand here. You're definitely in control. And I feel like with the Four of Cups here and the Emperor, this is um, you... Um, reinforcing your own emotional stability. Yeah, it's like you had to take the reins back. I, I will clarify. But I, I do see stability here for you. Mm. Oh, the chariot. And this one wanted to come through. Oh, there, the fool. <laughs> wow, these, these are some powerful, powerful cards. You're in a very empowered energy. Okay. And honestly, when I look at these cards... 
When we're asking how does Sagittarius feel towards this person, as this card suggests, you're over it. You're over it. There's a reason why maybe, you know, you walked out of this person's life or you walked away from the relationship because as the card suggests, you're over it. You're over the relationship. You're over this person. Um, you're done with the breadcrumbing. You're done with the half-assed apologies. You know, sometimes I see the Four of Cups as this person trying, but it's like a half-assed effort. You know, because at some point here, you grew bored and tired of the same old situation playing out. Yeah. And also, too, you were wishing for things to be different. You were longing for things to be different. And nothing was changing with this person or this situation. I am going to clarify it, though. Can we please clarify the Four of Cups? Can we please clarify the Four of Cups? Tell us more about the Four of Cups. Why is the Four of Cups here for Sagittarius? Why is the Four of Cups here for Sagittarius? Tell us more. The Four of Pentacles. Hmm. Again, a card of stability. Yeah. You know, as a standalone card, the Four of Pentacles can sometimes speak to someone who is very stubborn, someone who is very fixed. Um, someone who is very closed off, closed minded, very rigid. Maybe you felt like, as a, st as a standalone card, maybe you felt like um, this person was very jealous, very controlling, very possessive, because remember they did have the devil, the devil came out. So I would say, uh, you know, there's a lot of jealousy here, a lot of, a lot of possessive energy here, and yeah, you, you just couldn't tolerate it anymore. Uh, yeah, you, you just couldn't tolerate it anymore. And no matter how many times this person came to you and said, look, I'm sorry, maybe they couldn't control their jealousy or their possessiveness and they would, you know, constantly apologize, but it, it, it still, nothing would change with them, you know? And with the chariot here, you're just like getting in your chariot and you're just like, I'm getting the F out of here and I'm not looking back, Rosa. I had to quickly get the F out of here because this relationship was getting too volatile. Um, Yeah. I see you very empowered here. Very empowered. Very focused. And I would even say, Sagittarius, that you're even feeling a whole lot better since you walked away from this person. Um, like, you know you did the right thing. You feel it inside every single cell and bone in your body. Mm. I feel like with the Emperor too, you were looking for more accountability and reliability from this person. Maybe with the Emperor you felt like towards this person that they were very controlling, very possessive. 
also. You know what? I'm just going to quickly clarify it. Yeah, boom. Like they always had to uh, cut you down or one up you. This is a card of conflict. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I, I feel like you were done with uh, their controlling ways, their possessive ways. It always ended up in an argument or a fight. It always kind of left you not feeling good about yourself. Or it just, like, I don't like this energy. You know, it's, it's negative energy. It's draining energy. And I feel like that's where you take your power back. Mm. I feel like on some level you wished that things were different. You know, but... They're not. All right, where do we want to take it from here, Sagittarius? Excuse me. Where do we want to take it from here? Um, all right, let's just uh, let's just see. Do I want to see? Let's see what action this person will take towards you. Just out of curiosity. Spirit, angels and guides, what action will this person take towards Sagittarius? What action will this person take towards Sagittarius? Oh, the world card is here. Spirit, angels and guides, what action will this person take towards Sagittarius? What action will this person take towards Sagittarius? Oh, the Three of Cups. One more. Spirit, angels and guides, what action? The Nine of Wands and the King of Cups. It's interesting energy. Hmm. Spirit Angels of Guides, can we please clarify the Three of Cups? Tell me more about the Three of Cups. What action will this person take towards Sagittarius? What action will this person take towards Sagittarius? Okay. The Two of Pentacles. I just want to have a look at the Nine of Wands and the King of Cups. Tell me more. No. Okay. Yeah, I don't see this person taking any action. Yeah, there's, there's definitely conflicting energies here with regards to taking action towards you. And if anything, sometimes I see the King of Cups as uh, like a passive energy. It's more of like a feminine energy. Um, and with the Nine of Wands, I am getting someone who is feeling a little bit sooky or sulky or wounded. So I don't see this person taking any action towards you if they are feeling this way. Yeah, it, it's, it's not clear here. There's a big cloud of smoke, which shows me that this person certainly doesn't have the clarity uh, around taking any action towards you.
they, they don't have the clarity here yeah and if anything I do see uh, heavy drinking that's a very specific message but I do see heavy drinking here and I do see a wishy-washy energy here I see on one hand this person wants to meet up with you with the three of cups and I see with the world card here that they want to give you your space and the two of pentacles is kind of like it's a weighing up energy should I shouldn't I on one day they feel like no I, I want to keep my distance I want to give Sagittarius their space and another day or uh, you know at another time they feel this strong pull to want to meet up with you they want to see you because they're obviously missing you but it's not clear here um, at this time there's no real clear or clarity around taking action towards you so I don't feel like this person's going to do anything if anything with the world card I feel like they will just maybe think about you or observe you from afar mm. yeah or the other thing that I see here, um, Sagittarius, is maybe give you this impression that they are entertaining other options or they're seeing other people. Okay, sort of as with the Nine of Wands here, as like a revenge um, or as like a retaliation, but not that it would matter, but to you. Um, but that's also something else I see here but not spe not specific action towards you specifically if that makes sense so that's where I leave the reading Sagittarius I do hope that was insightful and helpful feel free to drop your comments in the comment section below please support the channel if any part of the reading resonated for you let me know if I mentioned the sign of your person also here today and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.